Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in and today we're going to uh, look at how to update your BIOS on your computer. And uh, for those of you who don't know what the BIOS is, it's basically uh, your basic input uh, output system. And it's the program of uh, your computer some microprocessor uses uh, to get the computer system started after you turn it on. And it's basically uh, the management of uh, data flow between the computer's operating system and then your attached devices like your hard drives, uh, your video adapters, keyboards. Um, I'm running an MSI uh, P-series uh, laptop and uh, it has a high graphics card. So uh, for devices with, uh, with video cards like uh, the MSI has, it's a good idea to have your BIOS updated uh, because uh, they do require faster data flow uh, to be effective. So uh, that's why I'm doing this tutorial. And at the same time, there was another problem I was experiencing uh, whenever I would close the lid on my MSI. Uh, after uh, turning it on again or opening the lid, uh, I would only see the MSI logo. And after that, it would just be stuck for a while. I would have to turn the computer off and turn it back on which was quite a hassle because then I had to restart my computer every time um, I wanna wake it up from sleep. So uh, we update your BIOS. Um, now, the first thing you wanna do is go to your manufacturer's website. Now for the MSIs, uh, the website is right here. So um, I'm in Canada, so it's ca.msi.com. And uh, once you go to the website here, uh, you can scroll down to their support here and then download. So we're gonna scroll into download here and uh, then you wanna click your notebook and uh, download. And here we're gonna select your product. So we have a notebook here. And in my case, I have the Prestige series uh, and I have the PE series with uh, the PE 76 QE. So that's my product. I'm gonna go here and uh, hit download. Once I go to the download here, um, actually the first option that shows up in the download menu is the BIOS option. So uh, just go ahead and click download here on the BIOS. And uh, once you hit that, it'll start uh, downloading that. After it's downloaded, uh, you wanna open that up and it's a rare file. So you can use something like uh, a WinRare to open up this file, which I already have uh, installed. and uh, here it is. So once you have the file, you can extract that to any place you like and open that up. I've already had uh, mine extracted. So I, I have a, a separate folder for my uh, drivers and I just uh, basically made a new file folder BIOS and then uh, I extracted it into here. So here's the file. What you'll need to do next is uh, get a USB drive um, and then plug it in. I'll get my USB here and plug it in. Now, once you plug in your USB drive, what you wanna do is just basically uh, right click that and send it to uh, your USB drive. So mine is the Lexar USB drive. So just go ahead and send it to your USB drive and you don't have to delete anything from it or format it. You can just basically send that file there. But just remember uh, that this file name is what you will be looking for in a moment. So. Uh, just remember that file name. It's e. In my case, it's e one seven nine five ims dot ten f. Okay. So once we have that on your um, USB drive, uh, next thing to do is uh, we're going to uh, go and restart our computer. Now I can't restart my computer unfortunately because uh, I am doing the tutorial right now. So well, I have taken some screenshots that will help with after you restart your computer. So once you restart your computer, keep your USB drive in the computer. Um, and after restarting, once the MSI logo pops up on the screen, you wanna hit the DEL button, which is basically your delete button. It might say DEL or delete on your keyboard. So either one of those, uh, you wanna uh, tap that. And once you tap that, you're gonna get into your uh, setup menu here. So that is basically your setup menu. And uh, this is how it will look like on the, the initial screen. You'll have your main advanced boot security up at the top here. And what you wanna do is you wanna scroll uh, to the next one, which is, um, which is advanced. So basically you wanna scroll to advanced menu 
And once you're in the advanced menu, you want to scroll down to UEFI BIOS update. I scroll down to it once it's uh, highlighted, press enter on it. And uh, the next screen that's going to pop up is this guy right here. Um, and you want to then uh, scroll down to UEFI BIOS update, uh, hit enter. And then the next screen that's going to pop up, it's going to, this is what's going to pop up. And here, what you can see is uh, uh, you just basically have to select the USB. So uh, USB 1.0, the computer has detected that there is a USB in my drive at this location. And that's what it's basically showing here right now. So uh, your USB is going to show up depending on the location. And uh, you just want to scroll to that one, hit enter. Once you hit enter, you basically go and find your file. That name is the one that you're going to be looking for. So that file name, which we saw earlier, which is this one here, is what you're going to look for. And once you find that file, hit enter. Once you hit enter, it's going to start, uh, the, it's going to confirm it and then restart your computer. So uh, that's the next step. So confirm, restart your computer. And once you restart your computer, uh, this screen is going to pop up. Uh, and you want to proceed with flash update. So you want to scroll down to proceed with flash update. So this is after you restart your computer and then it's going to start updating. And once it's updated, it'll complete it, shut down the computer again. And, or it might just go into windows right away, but then it will give you a message saying that it's been successfully updated. So there it is guys. That's uh, just basically a quick tutorial on how to update your BIOS. Thank you for watching.